Okay, so options are, we've kind of hit a nice equilibrium here. We've got enough resources. Ooh, fish. Fish maybe might, might end up being an issue. Yeah, so there's 25 fish there total. But what we could do is just go absolutely banabras and just grab everything I can. What's this saying? Export inventory full. Oh, are we maxed out on storage? No, we're not. Probably just maxed on firewood. Let's see, I've got a lot of raw fish in storage. I mean, I got a lot of dried fish sitting around in storage. I don't know if stuff rots. I was happy watching Wander play uh, Never Leave the Vault in Fallout 4. I really liked that. Nothing, nothing has ever come close to the town building in Fallout, weirdly enough. Like, I really wish, uh, I really wish somebody would make a, a proper, somewhat, like, light exploration game. Mostly, you're just building and defending a town. Because I haven't seen anything that really does the same, same thing. And I've always been slightly disappointed about it. Like... I really enjoyed, what was it? Well, I really enjoyed Dragon Quest and Dragon Quest Builders and whatnot because, you know, that's such a fantastic and enjoyable game. I guess we might as well just kind of extend this all the way here, as far as it'll go, and just have this be the docks. Because Dragon Quest Builders, like, you build a town, you kind of defend it, but it's too linear for my taste. Like, I just want to be plopped in the middle of a world. I, honestly, I guess, truly, if you could just uh, mush Fallout 4 and RimWorld together, you'd probably have exactly what I'm asking for. And that would be, that'd be really fun. Okay. But yeah, I want to get... I want to get another one of these docks down, which does mean we need more plastic. But that's okay. Missing items, halted production. Right, we don't have any fish. So, with this sail open, can I not... Can I not move the town around in this immediate area? I was really hoping it would actually let me move it around within the area as well. Yeah, 3D RimWorld. Yeah, kind of. Like, if you could give the satisfactory treatment, but to RimWorld, you'd have a really solid game on your hands. At least one that I would play the heck out of. I should probably go back to Satisfactory now that they've probably solved all of their... Uh, all of their crashing issues. I'm assuming they've solved most of their crashing issues. Save that plastic for a bit. We're gonna to want to get at least one more salvage boat. Because if I can have two salvage boats and one fishing boat, we can just hoard everything from every single map and just be unstoppable. Question mark. Let's see. And this really makes me want to play Raft again. It's been a while. Let's see. It would be what you would find neat. A roguelike survive as long as you can Fallout game, like Fallout Shelter. You start with a couple of habitation rooms, have to build the vault up nicely. Failure resets the vaults, then it sends the agent die. Be obstructive and destructive. I think that would be fine as an option as part of a game. I'd, I'd never really like permadeath. Uh in games that last longer than, like, three hours tops. And even three hours is pushing it for me. Like, I, I prefer I prefer that sort of thing to be more of kind of voluntary on a on a player-by-player -player standpoint. Uh, again, RimWorld does it really, really well. If I tried Nomoria, I actually haven't tried Nomoria. 
I played Dwarf Fortress and like that ate up way too much time back when I was a sophomore in uh, in college. So I've been kind of leery about doing the same thing again. Because, like, Nomoria really does look like just Door Fortress again. Okay, so this will get us the extra boat, and then we're pretty much just going to grab as much as we can before we leave. I mean, it looks like there's a lot of resources just kind of hanging out on the periphery here, so if I can grab all of them. Now, do we have any buoys? Oh, we just have a fishing buoy. Now, can I just buoy everything? Okay, I can only buoy things within the allotted AoE. Or, no. Yes? Okay. I'm just going to do that. I'm not sure if the characters can go outside the, the map, but that's okay. Good to go. I'm just going to hoard everything. You will not stop me. After we're done with this game, I think I'm going to have to do an obligatory run of Raft again. Probably solo, because I don't have people to play with anymore. Either that or I, like, try and, uh, try and cajole somebody into joining me at least for a little while. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Surprised Nintendo hasn't tried to do a uh, open world Pokemon game like Breath of the Wild. I think it's because in a lot of cases, uh, uh, let's see. I think in a lot of cases, Game Freak is sick of making Pokemon games, and that includes experimentation. Most of their like weird experiments have been kind of phoned in lately. And so, I don't know. I like, I like the idea of Pokemon becoming this like, I'm just gonna grab everything. So many markers, board bot. Yeah, we've, we've got more than enough firewood and water. Hopefully that I can just kind of do do all of this without screwing myself over. It's fits. Another one. Won't let me squeaky squeaky. Shit. We're just going to store everything. Let's see, are the whales purely aesthetic or are they a threat or resource? As far as I can tell, they're purely aesthetic. Uh, this is not this is not dishonored. We do not have to worry about getting whale oil off of them. At least yet. That might be a thing, but I don't I don't even know. Welcome to the trash yard, I guess. Might be able to run a walkway in here and store a little bit more, or have somebody sleeping in the middle of the trash yard. Might be too wide for it. I'm not sure yet. Let's see, can we see if they have horns or tusks? They've got teeth. They've got big teeth. Would Raft be a game Shell would play with you? Shell generally only likes games that have a story. Even if the gameplay isn't something she's terribly interested in, if the story is good enough, she will she will stick through it. Uh, whales don't have teeth. These whales do. Let's see if we can go find one. Because, yep, there it is. All right. Uh, that is a toothsome whale. 
That ain't that ain't just baleen. Well, some of it is, maybe. Is it baleen? I forget. But he's definitely got like toothy tusk things. He could he could take a bite out of my town. If it wanted to. Okay, can I? No, nobody can live in Trashville. Shoot. I mean, I could deconstruct this. I'm gonna deconstruct this one and see if I can fit in, like, one more, maybe? Just really want to see if I can have somebody sleep in the middle of this. The lack of proper, like, space allocation mechanics is gonna drive me a bit bonkers. I understand why it is the way it is, but it's still gonna drive me a bit nutty. So how's how's the map doing for resources? It's doing okay. Fortunately, most of my guys are kind of busy just doing tasks at home. Nope. So... Jam it in there, you yachts. Nope. Alright, whatever. I might leave this for a bigger structure. I might be able to put in, like, a woodworking shed or who knows what. But I think I'm just gonna wait until these fill up and then I'll probably just bail. Well, there's more than this, and everybody's just gonna go bananas. I guess the other thing we could do is build like a shit ton of rope, but let's not do that. That'd also be a good idea to get a house, yeah. but I'm just gonna let these guys grab resources. And I'm just gonna kick back. Ooh, what's this? Reset camera t rotation. Ow. I was kind of hoping there was, like, a uh, follow cam, and I could just, like, creep on somebody for a while. Turn that off? No. I mean, we could just, we could just leave. What do you guys think? Should, should I keep, uh, should I live up to my dream? As hoarder bot, or should we get out of here? We've got a whole bunch of plastic. We're kind of limited on wood. Okay, hey, Sammy so Flute. Can I just follow this guy around for a while? Actually, we should probably follow go. Cannonball. Go, go, Cannonball. Let's take a look at this. New world, temporary rejuvenating feeling. Moist, drinks less. Oh, each character has uh, different traits. Hello. So Calamity, kids menu, eats less. And world rejuvenating Yo. feeling. And Sammy Float Torpedo moves faster. Oh, so in that case. Sammy Float should be the should be the man grabbing stuff. Why is he going out while they're hungry? Why would you do that? Yeah, we're gonna want to learn how to cook fish, but we can't do science yet anyway, so. We'll have to wait for the next map on that one. Okay, so we're filling up slowly. We have a lot of storage capacity. What I might want to do is cancel much of the um, yeah, because this just has plastic. I'm gonna cancel the uh the plastic ones initially. We want. We want wood, because wood is a somewhat consumable resource. And I think that might be the only, one of the only two. Because plastic's just used for building. Oh, it really 
does not want me to put a marker down here. Yeah, okay. So we're, we're just gonna grab, uh, we're just gonna grab as much wood as we can, and then we're probably going to just leave. The plastic is nice, but realistically, we're just going to be using that to extend my, my town as much as possible. Whereas the wood is also used for that, but also used for survival. And if I go like bananas trying to get more plastic than I already have, I think I'm going to die. Whereas currently we are staying very low on wood, mainly because I think I've turned it all into firewood, which is... Nope, I haven't. I only have six firewood. That could go bad. But yeah, let's just... Let's just grab wood and then go. I think I'm just going to use that as my general policy along the way here. Let me see. I still wish you could actually move this around in inside the map. Or the whole map was seamless. Like, it's... it's I don't know. It's cool that it's kind of node-based, but it was... It'd be kind of neat if you were just free floating forever and stuff just kind of float. Uh, eh, no, I've just played too much raft. I think that that's my real answer here. This w makes way more sense as a pound management situation. And this would actually let them have different maps if they wanted to, which actually isn't a terrible idea. Okay, so they are... they are good. I guess the other thing... the one other thing that I might want to consider doing before we leave, potentially, is getting one more bedroom, but we can get that as soon as we hit the next map. Well, let's see, we've got plenty of fish and a decent amount of water. Firewood will be an issue, but now that we have wood coming in and mass, it'll be okay. And at some point, I'm probably going to want to move the mooring points out here so that it's a much more direct approach to get access to the storage yards. Hopefully we get bigger ones, too. I guess let's look at this. So we can get bigger storage yards, we can b get better houses, scrap smiths, plastic recycling, small water, water container, solar still. Ooh, that'll be nice. I think I might go for the solar still or food first. Fishing hunt, hut might not be a bad idea, but yeah, trying to go for some of the uh, some of the resources that that specifically make it so I'm not reliant on wood would actually be really nice. Okay, there we go. Uh, anyway, wood's going. I I keep thinking we're like filling up here because like these are starting to get full, but no, the. The town heart is the empty one. I guess that's probably because everybody keeps eating out of it. This we're starting to stack up on on food. Well, food's actually a bit of an issue because nobody's out fishing right now. Because I think the fish balls are kind of e oh. Do we not have? Let me check buoys. We don't actually have a. Uh, no one's fishing right now. There we go. And we have that one. Wait, no, that's that's the one I just put down, isn't it? And we have that one over there, but... I don't think I have access to it. Okay, so yeah, we better leave sooner than later. Otherwise, we're going to start starving. I wonder we need a PSA on how to pronounce Wanderbot. It's fine. I think it's just one of those where A's and O's look kind of similar, and most people would probably think Wonder over Wander. Uh, so it's not that insane that people would think otherwise. I don't know. I raided uh, the completionist last night, and he's like, Welcome, Wanderbot. And then, like, slightly later, he's like, Wait, you're Wanderbot. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about that. It was kind of nice, but it's also one of those where it's like, I felt kind of bad. Because it's like, I don't, honestly, I've gotten to the point where I, I don't really care if people call me Wonderbot. I'm just used to it. Let's see. Wonder, are you going to TwitchCon? No. Uh, let's see. So, I've considered going to TwitchCon, and I would like to. I need more friends to meet up with, I think. 
to really justify going. Because as it stands, most of my friends just go to PAX that I know of. Um, but... The other thing with, with uh, TwitchCon is it has... I'm not going to say problems. It hasn't... It's not very well organized comparatively. Let's see. Can we have somebody go fishing? I'm going to have that one. One character prioritize fishing. That way we always have food generally on hand. And everything else going. Everybody else is probably just grabbing wood right now, but that that's okay. If we can stack that up, we'll be we'll be good. Uh, let's see. Every time I hear Wonderbot, I think of like a super robot from the future. Yeah, it's very much like a, a Voltron kind of thing. Uh, I I prefer the idea of yeah, a small wander, a uh, small robot just wandering around. You prefer bot or bots? So uh. We're just going to talk about uh, how I named my channel. So if you search on YouTube, there is actually a pre-existing uh, YouTube channel called Wanderbot, which is, I think it's Russian? And it's effectively has like two animations from like nine years ago or something like that. I'm not really sure. Uh, but that existed before my channel started. And so I couldn't get the name Wanderbot. But, I could get Wanderbots, which made sense if you go back and check my really, really old videos. Yeah, you'll see that I included Shell in almost all of them, uh, at least originally. I think I still had like a couple of solo series, but for the most part I was trying to include Shell for at least the first couple months. Wholesale, but we were both working full time at the time. And she was working as a dental assistant. Uh, specifically, like cleaning tools and doing administrative stuff, and I was working as a as a technical animator at a Nickelode Nickelodeon like game studio kind of thing, and so I would come home and record games because it was kind of my new hobby, and it was a way of like meeting new friends and a bunch of other things, and so I really enjoyed, you know, kind of doing it it just to keep myself sane. Whereas for Shell, she kind of wanted to sit back, relax, and she didn't want to come back from work to work more. And YouTube really is kind of work. It's fun, but it, it's definitely still work. Let's see. Oh, we're starting to stack up firewood again. I see what's going on. It's like, why do we have no wood whatsoever? The answer is, oh, that's why. Okay, so we should probably actually bail at this point. I'm gonna... I'm gonna remove both of these. Because that only has five fish left at it right now, anyway. But, so... Uh, or originally, I, the kind of plan was to do... To do this as a duo channel. I'm a huge fan of Game Drums. And I thought it would be kind of an easy thing. Be villagers in an abandoned town. Travel. Travel? There we go. Fody, no crashy. Good luck. Okay. So there's plenty of wood right there. What else do we got here? Shack Town. Scavenge. Lonely Island. Rescue. Oat. Grab some of these. We'll need some plastic, but not much. Mainly I'm here for as much wood as I can get my my grubby little mittens on. And we're gonna need we're gonna need another fishing boat sooner than later. Not as many resources in this area. Certainly not as many as much fish as I was kinda hoping for. I'm just going to preemptively dent a lot of these. Now, is this wood or is this all plastic? I think this is all plastic. Yeah, it's all plastic. I got 76 plastic. I'm not expecting to spend too much of it, so I think I'm just going to leave that for later. Any other fish balls I can get? Okay. 
Yeah, what was I talking? Anyway, so yeah. So I just figured since it was going to be a duo, duo channel anyway, I just call us the Wanderbots. And what ended up happening is I really kept with it. Uh, we had to not split up necessarily, but I had to go live in my parents' basement and she went to live with her parents because I got let go and her income was not enough to pay for rent, for rent and bills and so on and so forth. And so that's kind of where the, the distinction of me being specifically Wanderbot happened. That, and I was definitely more aggressive about, like, meeting new people and interacting with them. So I just, you know, tended to be known as Wander and Wanderbot, as opposed to other people uh, seeing us both as kind of Wanderbot. Oh, I can get a house in here. I didn't... Oh. Okay, so we could use this as another storage yard. I might be able to get two more houses in there. I might try that. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I didn't realize they were that much smaller than the uh, storage areas. That's actually kind of nice. Let's see. Now we just both live off of my income. And that works really freaking well. I mean, it's not really my income. Chell is absolutely like an integral part part of this channel at this point. And that saying that it's just my income is very much like doing a disservice to her. Okay, so we want to get one more bedroom. We just jam it in right there. I can't put it on any of the. I could put one like right down there, but still. Uh, do it. Oh, I might as well put it right here, because I pretty much can't put anything behind the mooring points, at least currently. Let's see. Now, do we have landmark salvaging? Honestly, I'm going to let those... Uh, do we let those people? No, 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 no. We probably want to go grab those first. I do kind of wish the meters, priority meters, were a little bit more robust. Like, even just five levels instead of three would probably make a difference. Let's see. So we've hit our production limit. Yeah, we have. We're going to need a lot more fish. Hopefully, I won't get, get too many people. Like, my, my one fear is we're going to have too big of a town. Uh, I don't want to not rescue people, but we might have to. We'll see, we'll see what happens once I get... Because um, if I, if I can get the... Oh, I have some research points. I might need a scrap smith. I don't know if I'll need the small water container, but, like, I might want to save up for the solar sill. Just because uh, wood in general is one of my main issues. And so if I could divorce my like water production even just a little bit from, from needing to burn wood, then we'd be in a good, good position. Maybe? I don't know. Okay, so this will give us two of those. Oh, let's see. What do I need for more boats? I need rope. Yeah, we just need rope. And an insane amount of wood. I'm hoping by getting two more people, and then maybe stopping there, we can just glom up all of the resources really fast and not have to worry about things. But honestly, getting rid of the firewood... Well, actually... Our current situation with fish also doesn't require wood, but we're probably going to want to actually start cooking the fish. Because it'll it'll stretch the fish out to last so much longer. Because currently, dried fish only feeds you for half. And that's actually putting me in a bad spot. So... Do we do this and hurt our wood supply even more? Maybe? I don't even know how we're getting science. Do we just get science per... 
one of these, or maybe it was investigating the abandoned town. It was checking out the shack town. Ooh. I think this also gets me research. Because we've scavenged food. And food. Fair bit of wood. Fair bit of firewood, too. But yeah, so that's how we get extra... That's how we get extra stuff. Yeah, so I think in this case I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the solar sill if I can get it. We might have to build an insane amount of those, but that's okay. Okay, we are nearing max capacity on resources though. Okay, fine. Let's get another one. Still wish I could run a walkway through this and actually use it for stuff, but no dice. Okay, did we finish with the shack town? We finished with the shack town. It gave us eight science. That's X. It's actually... Uh, in that case, we might want to... Okay, yeah. So if we get fish kebabs, it'll let us get cooked fish. Oh. Maybe not. I don't know if that's worth it. We don't have we don't have enough metal scrap for it. Cause this'll let us get nibble fish. Just kind of on our own. Okay, so we've got Moana Salty uh Trabe Gut and Rufus Guppy Zisu. Okay, so maybe we want to change our mind on that. We've also got food truck. Export sushi and cooked fish. But yeah, that requires things that I can't do. So we might straight up need to... Hmm. No, because we don't need that. Stores a small amount of water. Imports that. Gets me nets. Better drifters and better storage yards. I don't know. I, I think we're just going to want to strip mine this place as fast as possible and then bail. 